when you're like me and you live in a country where there's a lot of rain, even this morning we had rain and it's the uh, beginning of June, um, I think there's one item that makes a lot of sense to put in a bag and that is not an umbrella because an umbrella can do pretty much only one thing. It's held over your head, you lose the function of one hand uh, and that's what it does. I guess if you're creative you can maybe use it for water collection or something like that. But that's all you can use it for and if I put stuff in my bag I ideally want it to be multifunctional. I want it to have several functions so that when I have it I can do multiple things with it. And I found this beautiful rain poncho. There are many ponchos out there ranging from a few euros or dollars in price up to a lot and this one was somewhere in between. I think I paid about 25 euros which is definitely not cheap for a poncho but it's a very cool poncho. First of all it's made by the company Fostex, F-O-S-T-E-X, that makes excellent tactical stuff and it is, it's just on the little compression sack 150 by 220 centimeters, this is the black color. I know there's also an olive drab color uh, and there may also be a camo, I'm not entirely sure. Open it up and what I just want to show you, first of all it's made of ripstop material uh, which means that I think there are little seams, I'm not sure why you can see that because it's, it's black, um, but there are little squares on this which make it very strong. If you have a cheap poncho and you have a push into that with your finger, you know you get these little whitish indent indentions, indentures, den dents, dents. Um, this stuff, you can push down on it, nothing is going to happen. It's really stuff, it's really tough stuff. Okay, the actual poncho is pretty easily deployed. I have folded it up a little bit differently than I usually do for this video, but once you have it unrolled, all you need to do is stick your head in, stick your arms through, if you can find the hole. <laughs> That's what I told her. Um, and you're all set to go. You have a poncho, and um, uh, I, I have to say that I am I'm, I'm wearing socks, uh, but uh, you see, it pretty much covers me to below the knee, uh, which is all I expect from a poncho. Uh, if it goes any lower than that, you start to step on it, trip, fall, etc. Um, now, what is so special about this poncho? First of all, of course, you can cinch it shut considerably uh, which is not the greatest thing, of course, but you can do that. I have replaced this, the cord that came with it, it's the same as you had in the compression sack, I replaced that with 550 paracord. Um, so that's one thing, I'm going to take off that hood because it's super hot. Um, what I like about this poncho is that also on the inside there is another cord which you can cinch shut and what you do is you pull the poncho taut in this area so it won't do that in the wind because it's kind of taut and you can put your arms in and hold on to that cord for example. But what is another beautiful thing about that cordage is uh, that you can also use it for another purpose, to which I'll come back in a second. The actual poncho is held shut, the sides are held shut by these heavy duty popper buttons, uh, which means you can open them up. That also means that you can fold the whole thing up and connect the poppers of this side to that side to make it even smaller, clearly not when you're wearing it, but when uh, when you want to put in your compression sack or I guess even when you are wearing it you want to have it tighter around your legs or something like that. So I like that about this poncho. Another thing I like is that it's fairly roomy. I mean you kind of get the impression to do this but it's roomy, it's nice. The bad thing about it being roomy is that if you're on a bike this is going to catch wind like crazy and I guess the same thing goes for hiking but on the other hand at least you don't get wet. Um, so I like that and in an emergency what I could do is huddle up, sit you know, on the ground, pull my knees up and I'm completely covered by the poncho. So I really think that's a, that's a great uh, thing. Now the final thing I want to show you that I think is very cool is that this poncho actually has o-rings. 
metal o-rings in there so they should be strong and that means that you can turn this you get them here at the end you get another one right here where your arm goes through holes on both sides and that means you can turn this into a makeshift shelter and if you remember there's quite a bit this is again 550 paracord that I put in you get quite a bit of cord that you can use to make a makeshift shelter it's probably not going to be enough cord that's why you should always carry some more cordage but in principle this is what you can do now of course when you're in an urban environment it's extremely unlikely that you have to make shelter out of your poncho but you never know that's why EDC people are EDC people we like to be prepared if you venture out if you take this on a hike that suddenly takes on a whole different meaning if you're in the mountains and you're caught by a sudden rainstorm that can be serious rain and then you may be happy that you can actually make a bit of shelter especially if you're caught once getting dark for example so just saying that is one way to use this poncho and I think those rings make it fairly unique in poncho land so to speak um, what I'm going to do now is fold this up again which is a relatively straightforward process um, what I really like about the compression sack that Fostex provides you with one more fold this is a lot easier of course when you do it on a flat surface but I just want to stand around here and keep talking to you and not waste more of your precious time than is absolutely necessary I'm now just rolling it up again that is easier when you're on a flat surface just push the air out. What I was saying is that I like the compression sack that Fostex gives you uh, for the reason that it is fairly big. Um, of course the downside to that is that it takes up a little bit more space in your pack but the uh, benefit of it is that it's very easy to slide your poncho in and if you roll it up tightly, which I can only do on a flat surface uh, there's actually a bit of space on top where you could put another you could put another small item in there uh, whatever you like of course waterproof matches compass etc but you can put some more stuff in here I think that's very very cool um, I think this is more than enough talk about a poncho uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, really consider getting one I think this is excellent high quality stuff that's all there's to it I hope this was useful and um, I gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, here you have your actual poncho. And just to show you how easily this is deployed, okay, maybe it's not so easy.